Welcome to another episode of Baloney or Not. Pop bottles out of the haunted trash can. The toilet flushed all by itself. I knew I shouldn't have made all that soap. The blood was smeared all over the wall. It looked kind of nice, actually. And then the giant creature came out of the woods and asked me for a bite of my hamburger. Big bright lights up in the sky. Boarded spaceship. I got a free ticket for Jack in the Box. Black hole in Africa. Secret passageway. I wasn't the only one to wet myself that night. Good evening again, this is Nick Kilcoin bringing you more stories of the unexplained. Baloney or Not is dedicated to those stories of paranormal investigations, amazing accounts of ancient anomalies, or the crackpot chronicles of counterfeit creatures. It's up to you to decide. The story is of an alien abduction. An abduction by aliens! Comes from a letter I received in the mail. I'll let the story speak for itself. We were camping out in the forest. My buddy was telling me of a scary story about two aliens who visited the forest, but I didn't believe him. Then, I heard a strange noise. It sounded like something whizzing overhead, but it was completely silent. So I got out my flashlight to investigate. I was looking around to see what it might be, and then I saw it just hovering there. I didn't know what to do, and then I looked down and saw that something had appeared below the ship. It was a strange humanoid creature, an alien. Dun dun dun. My friend got scared and ran away. An alien came after me. He was gonna do things to me, and I was afraid. And then he yelled at me and hurt my feelings. And then a spaceship came and lifted me aboard. And then it took me away. We flew for a long time. And it felt like we were going into space. And we were. Aboard his ship, I was even more scared that I screamed. And the alien walked towards me. And he had something to show me. On the card, it was a list of the things they planned to do to me. They thought it was really funny. Not me. So I tried to run away, but they caught me. And they forced me into the operating room. And for some reason, there was a guy standing there who looked a lot like me. Just kept talking and talking, but I didn't understand the language. Then the alien called me stupid and I started to cry. So he laughed at me for being stupid. And then he was gonna start the operation, and he thought it was so much fun. And he had this machine in his hand that was going to start it all. But my friend came out. The alien tried to reason with him. Tell him that it was just for the good of mankind and all this other stupid stuff. But my friend knew better. We were saved. At least I thought we were. <laughs> So the aliens were done with me, so they dropped me back off. However, they didn't drop me back off in the forest. I was somewhere else. Some place I didn't know. I was stuck here. Lost forever. And I never found my way home again.
the end of the story begs many questions. Were the aliens real? Where did they drop him off at? And if he never found his way home, how did we hear about it? It's up to you to decide, baloney or not.